Hello, today we're going to be going over tips and tricks and frequently asked questions for the V-Line. Uh, so the first place we wanted to start it was with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and how it interfaces with the Wi-Fi of the V-Line. Um, so right now, as you can see, we're connected wireless to Apple CarPlay. And if we go into the settings here, you'll see the hotspots on. So what we're actually using is the Wi-Fi hotspot. So you'll see if I turn my Wi-Fi on, it'll come on for a second and turn itself back off. That's because Apple CarPlay is set to automatically reconnect, as you can see here. So if we go ahead and turn that to manually now, as you can see, it's trying to reconnect here as well. So we're going to cancel that. And then if we go back to our Wi-Fi here, we should be able to turn that back on and not have it turn off on us. And as you can see, it's not turning back off now. This would be the correct way if you needed to connect to Wi-Fi to update the unit or for any other reason, and you do use wireless CarPlay or Android Auto, it'll apply to both of those. You just want to make sure you turn that to manually connect. And then once you're done connecting to the internet and you want it to man or automatically connect again, you just go back in and tap it again, and you can change it back. And then the next thing we wanted to cover today would be the HDMI. So we'll go ahead and zoom out real quick so you can see. So we have a HDMI Chromecast here. Um, it simply connects via HDMI and is powered by a USB. So we're going to go ahead and plug that up. There's an HDMI out and HDMI in. We're going to use the in for now. Now we've got the USB here that powers it, so we'll just plug that in as well. I'd recommend using USB 2 since USB 1 is used for wired CarPlay and Android Auto. And now that we've got that plugged up, you can see that it's powered here. And any HDMI device that you use with the V-Line will be under the AVN app. That can be accessed by clicking on a gray plus, scrolling down as some plugins here, and AVN. And once we open that, you'll see it's connecting. And after a second, it'll go full screen. So this is just the splash screen for the Chromecast. If you need to exit, you can just tap again, you get your navigation bar, and you can exit out that way.